Safter, it is good to see you. I gave you my word. Besides, Alfred's faith is strict and he has no love for pagans. You have changed much from that guard-whipped boy. That is good to see. I was always him, but my faith was like a veil. I am glad you helped me lift it. And now another education. You'll see how we Norse bads fight. I am all a quiver with anticipation. We all... There you are, Raven. Lufin am my old friend. And I see you have convinced your husband to stumble southwards. I couldn't let her carve all of the glory for herself. Luvina was just boasting of her heroics in Sussex. She took the fort single-handed, while the rest of us sat back and sipped meat. You should have seen her. <laughs> I have come to make sure my warrior wife's enthusiasm for battle does not get her slaughtered. Have you ever met a woman less in need of a guardian than me, Eivor? You will have one nonetheless. You owe Eivor a lot, my love. I know, I know. This last of Rey, I hope the debt will be cleared. I long to return home to our own war hearth. Um, Eivor! It's good to see you. Erke and Stowe, I released you from your debt, and yet you came. London is quiet enough, and Stowe here felt the sharp stab of conscience. Could not let you down, Eivor. That's not what an honorable man does. So here I am, despite my reservations. And you, Broder. I did not think you would be here either. I have seen to my brother. Sent him to Valhalla with grave goods. I am done with sorrow, Eivor. Now I am bloody angry. <laughs> Finir, stand tall. A light heart lifts all those around them. Ah, Eivor! Who would not be joyous, reaving at your side? And how do you feel about bringing sorrow to the Saxons on their holy day? It darkens my mood. I have learned some of the Christ Lord's teachings. He preaches peace where our gods delight in battle. Let their delights be ours, then. We have many battles to wage before the end. And I will be beside you for them all. My axe ready, and my heart stout. Dear love, you have come again at my call. I have, but this does not sit well with me, Eivor. This is a Christian feast, and the people here are not soldiers. I come only for Alfred. Innocents will die for your ambitions. I am your ally now, but after this, I must turn back to Mercia. I have much to repent. So long as I do not lose your friendship, your oath will be fulfilled. Gidrich, after Rochester, I was not sure you would come again. I've chosen my side. Who would sooner bet a hog than allow Alfred to pillage the land of love? Guthrum will trample Alfred's ambitions like weeds in the dirt. Mercia might rise further yet. <laughs> Perhaps I shall one day sit upon the throne of all England. King Gidrich the drunken ass. <laughs> I'll raise a cup to that. You soft-cheeked Anglo boys. Have you brought your mothers? Look, you Saxon bedwetters. Here is a real warrior. Vili, leave these poor boys alone. Their ears are too delicate for the filth you pour in. Boys is right. This streak of cat piss is barely off his mother's tit. And the Essex boy has hands like a milkmaid. Ha! Such fiendish ribaldry between you two. You laugh in the face of fear. Tweak old man death's beard. I will do my mother and my lord proud today, Eivor. The lord knows I have not been the best of sons. Good to see your spirits high. Fight well, my friends, and we'll feast together in victory. You soft-cheeked Anglo boys. Have you brought your mothers with you? My mother is worth ten of all men. I, I do not doubt it. I have seen those strong Saxon hens clucking round the hearth as you farmers play with your cocks. Ha! <laughs> and she'd welcome you in Colchester, Billy. Better than those sour-lipped things. Eivor, 
You made it unscathed. They came from all over England. I never thought it possible, Eivor, that you would rally Saxons and Norse under your black-feathered banner. They see the tyranny of this elf king. He would crush them all under heel and plug their hearts with his god. So what is the plan, Eivor? When is their feast day? A few nights from now, but their revelry has already begun. We should attack now. That is unwise. Soldiers pace the paths of the village. Then the night of the feast, under cover of darkness, that is when we will strike. Uba will not have died in vain. We await your instructions, Eivor. Let us plan our approach. But whatever happens, Alfred is mine. They are not expecting us. We should not meet much resistance on the way. Then quietly through the fields. It will already be too late once they see us. Your young Saxons can be our eyes to the west. Better to keep their soft hands away from the conflict. My scouts reported that a few nobles have arrived for the festivities already. Good. If we capture the Thanes, there will be no danger when I confront Alfred. And we could persuade them to support a new king of Wessex. I will subdue the lords. Take the Olaf and Tefta with you. They could prove useful in convincing the Thanes. Rhoda. Take Erki and Stowe and capture the garrison. Make quick work of any Saxons that dare cross into the village. <laughs> Gladly, Eivor. We each know our parts. May they blunt their swords against our might. Tonight, Wessex's last resistance will crumble. I follow you, Eivor. And I. Be ravening wolves and croaking ravens. Stand firm, your axe arms strong, and together, we will win this final battle. And remember, Alfred is mine. Soma, with me. Everyone else, go quickly to the village. Advance! Be on the lookout for any stray guards. Get to the village and wait for my signal. the rat out of his guard's house. Did you think my king would turn his back on you, Eivor, when your knife is smeared with the blood of Wera? Stand aside, Goodwin. I come for Alfred. Alfred is long gone, and this good Christian feast, a cup of honey wine, to trap some wasps. 
Where is he? Calling his allies to his side. All those who wish to see Wessex under one god. You cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and godless fools. At least I wouldn't leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty. The loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder. Do your worst. Warrior, I scratch at you like a cat. You yap like a dog. So, by my death, my lord may live. Alfred used you, fool. He threw you in my path. For what? He only delays what is inevitable. Kill me then. It makes no odds. For here you stand, bloody and breathless, no closer to my king, no closer to his throne. This island will never be your home, Eivor. You will not subdue her with vicious force, or win her with cocksure words. We Saxons will always stand firm, shoulder by shoulder against thieves and tyrants, whose envious eyes fall upon England. No, I will use you as you used me. A few hours in the company of my men, and you will lead us to your Sparrow King. That... I cannot allow.
I need you fighting with the rest. These men will not surrender. And one little talk flog have barricaded himself behind that door there. I will find a way in. Interruption? They may be. Good work, Guthrum. I hope the rest are fared as well. I need to see if Grotto has taken the garrison. Did you see Alfred? No. But your Saxon boys were ambushed. One day's wounded. Hold these men back. I'll find them. Will not enter us. Listen to me. You survived the Battle of Bottlestun. Do not let this scratch best you now. I'm so cold. Has winter come so soon? You will warm yourself with mead and dancing yet, my friend. Perhaps not, Ava. It may be I will sit beside my father soon. Will he be proud of me? He will pull you to his breast, sob bright words of welcome, and until you no man ever had a worthier son. I am glad to have known you, Eivor. My truest.
there's nothing more you could have done. Friendship has a hollow ring. There's no threat of losing it. I need to see if Broder has taken the garrison. Make sure the garrison stays under our control. I need to help the others.
They are routed! The city is ours! Wessex will follow! Good from y'all. We are not without losses. Some of them grave. Their king is fled! His patsy struck down! Defeat rings loud in their ears, and I will be their lord before the spring is here! Good from hear me! Soma is... She's gone. Soma? Dead? She has gone to the endless feast, and she is the better for it. I must speak to those still living. Lufina. Gods. I did not know. Is, is he...? Hush. What good can words do, Havor? Keep to silence. He is gone. For what days I was given to spend with you. For each breath that carried your sweet whispers. I give thanks. No more. Your fingers in my hair. No more your arms around my waist. The days will be cold hereafter. All color dimmed. Goodbye, my only. My heart ends with you. What is left will go on. Your first battle, Elleritch. You fought well and with honor. Is this the glory you deign seek? You can keep it. I saw Hoonwald die. The light dim in his eyes. That could have been me. You will never be the same. But you will be stronger for it. I have wasted so much time in pouting like a child. No more, Eivor. No more. Do you think there will come a day when winning will not be enough? Well, you can always fight with me if you want to taste crushing and loin-soiling defeat. My very presence would make that impossible. Enjoy this victory, Eivor, wherever it brings you. Only a coward thinks he'll live forever. Okay, you wear a furrowed brow. Snow is taking matters hard. You know how sensitive he is. A man of faith and stout morals. Small wonder he is tormented. His support for you has taxed him hard. I will take him back to London. Maybe he will find some comfort there. You are his comfort, Erke. Not the city you watch. He is in good hands. My thanks, though. You came to my aid when you were free to turn away. And still it breaks my heart to look upon what we've done today. Was it the right choice? I do not know. But it is done now. If Alfred had his way, there would never be friendship between Norse and Saxon. You fought for peace. Be proud of that. I wish I could. And in time, perhaps I will. It's done, Brodia. You fought well. 
I saw him, Eivor. In my darkest moment, Brothir stood beside me. And all was as it used to be. And then the battle ended. I feel him no longer. There will be other battles. Aye. And there you'll find me, Eivor. In amongst the blood and death. Brothir at my shoulder. Until the Valkyries claim me. You have given me more than I would ever have asked for. How will I repay it? Keep him in your thoughts. For when a man is mourned, his deeds cheered and his songs sung, he cannot die. You're not injured, Tefta. Bruises, that is all. I've taken the Lord into my heart, and he watched over my sorry bones. Those who fell sit beside him now. And what of my heathen friends? I used to believe in damnation for all who turned from his light. But there is a wondrous communion in friendship honored. Even though your godson preaches peace. And we shall do that, Christians and pagans, side by side. Never persecuted. Your Christ would smile at that, I think. Your Freya would too. He shall come to judge the living and the dead. Deolaf, Gidrich, there's a solemn air about you. To disturb such holy revels with blood and murder. I fear God may never forgive me for this. Had your guard taken Alfred's side, we would not have won. So it may be you did his work after all. Alfred still lives. And now I am twice his enemy. Give me one more fight, and I will gladly make it a third. He is defanged and of little threat to us now. That slippery eel may yet surprise you. Atonement is a long and lonely path. And I must soon leave to take my first steps upon it. Your debts to me are paid. I wish you well on your journeys. Oh. 